All right, so just to start things off, Sky was born October 27th of 2015. When she was born, she weighed seven pounds, 10 ounces. Now at Sky's one week of doctor visit, she was already past her birth weight, so we didn't have to do a one month doctor visit. They decided to wait until two months. But uh, we ended up taking her back to the doctor again because she had a, she had a breakout over Thanksgiving weekend and she had um, basically like a bad case of cradle cap and eczema and she had an irritation from the Johnson & Johnson products. So when we went to the doctor, they um, gave us a prescription of the ketocotazone for her and that's helped out so much. Also, um, some people were telling us to use the coconut oil and water baths and that worked out a lot too, as well as the um, breast milk for the cradle cap, that does work. So if you guys are thinking about trying that, go ahead and do it, it definitely works. And so does the coconut oil baths, those work so much. Her skin has healed dramatically in just like a week's time. So she's feeling a lot better. Even her face has cleared up too because she had it on her face and her forehead. Um, another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is her sleep patterns. Um, when we went to, when we, like the first week, it was really tough because she wasn't really sleeping that much. But um, towards the, let's see, like the second to third week, she started to sleep a little bit more. Um, she still gets up at night about three to four hours. And in the beginning, she was only sleeping about two to three hours. So we've, we've grown, right, Space Man? Mommy getting some sleep now. <laughs> um, I noticed that at night, her cradle cap was causing some hair loss for her. So she did lose a little bit of hair, like around the side of her head and around the front of her head. But it looks like it's growing back now. So we're really happy and thankful for that. She has a little curls coming in, so that's cute. So the Johnson & Johnson products caused a skin irritation for Skylar. We used to bathe her in it, like the, the um, I'm trying to remember which one it was. I think it was like the, it was a regular one. It wasn't even the lavender scented one. The lavender scented one was the lotion that we used on her that broke her out, but also the soap itself, like the, um, the one that you can use, the one that comes in the yellow bottle, the one you can use for the head, the body, all over, the no tears one. That one even broke her out. So we weren't really able to use Johnson & Johnson products for her skin. I guess hers is a little too sensitive. Um, but family members, like I said, did suggest that we use the coconut oil and water. Mostly my dad said that, and we did definitely use that one. We used the organic raw coconut oil on her skin, and it has worked so much, and it's healed, and it makes it more soft again, because before it was really scaly with the eczema. So we're happy about that. And if you notice, she's drooling. She's so drooly now. Like, she's drooling all over everything. Like, I think this started, like, a few days ago, actually, where she just started drooling. And she bites on her hands now we're not sure if she's actually teething or not but you know she does she's showing some signs that there may be something growing in those those buds down there also towards the end of the one month sky has started to show some facial expressions she's laughing more she's smiling more she's more energetic and focused like she can like look at things now and actually pay attention like if you go like this she actually look are you looking are you gonna look for the camera when she feels like it <laughs> But we have been practicing tummy time with her and she's doing amazing at tummy time. Like she's able to lift up almost all the way now. Like she's on her elbows when she's down there. She hasn't started scooting yet, so she's not ready yet, but she's getting up there. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but you know my husband's a big fan of Florida State Seminoles and my aunt, my sister Kimberly bought Sky a Florida State onesie. So she's repping them FSU no. Say yay, go no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's trying. <laughs> All right. All right, so that's pretty much it um, of things that we need to cover for Sky's one month update. Um, like I said, she's almost two months now, so we waited an entire month before we did the update for her. So her next update, or her two month update, will be when she's actually almost three months, so we can get the entire month's worth of things to go over for you guys. All right, so me and Sky Sky are gonna go ahead and end this vlog. Say life is a day to day experience. Enjoy. We'll see you guys next time. You want to do like your brother? Thumbs up if you like this video.